So what's going on guys, make sure you drop the views and welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be a very quick one because we're going to be unboxing the very first time on this channel, a UAG branded case. Of course, I've used UAG cases before like the Monarch and, and so on and so forth. But anyways, here we have a case which I'm really, really excited to take a look at, which is the UAG Civilian for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. So the reason I decided to buy an iPhone 12 Pro is because personally, I think the 12 Pro Max is big of course you really knew that but uh, another reason is that the camera on the 12 pro max isn't as reliable as the 12 pro in my opinion of course uh, at that time i was an early adopter early early user because i actually pre-ordered so probably now things have changed but the size was uh, one of the factors and that's the reason i decided to downsize so actually i sold off one of my iphone 12 pro max and i got iphone 12 pro instead and honestly two days with this device and uh, I'm really really impressed with the battery life because I'm actually getting better battery life than on the 12 Pro Max believe it or not alright so enough of the top let's get right into the unboxing of the UAG case alright so on the top you get the UAG branding of course you can see the price right here I bought it at retail price this is not a sponsored video so I bought it at full retail price 169 ringgit so this is a drop tested military standard you can see right here discrete protection civilian series for the iphone 12 and iphone 12 pro so personally i've never actually tried or seen a civilian series before i've seen it online and i always wanted to try it back then but i never got to purchase one but uh now that i have it in the studio really really excited all right so built to go further and yada 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 you can see the design honeycomb design and stuff like that but of course we'll be looking at that later on when we inspect the case shock absorbing soft core impact resistant bumpers yeah the usual feather like armor shell which is basically the marketing for almost all cases i should say so you can see right here one year limited warranty and uh, design in california so these are official products so this is by tgm all right so i've actually used this case for about two days to actually test it out and give you my honest opinion so later on i'll be sharing with you guys my thoughts about it no this case is not perfect same like the auto box uh, symmetry there are some things which are lacking in this case but uh that'll be later on through this video okay let's take a look at the design urban armor gear very nice and this bag is actually if it looks good it feels good but it is slippery so that's something i actually have to point out i'm sure you can see right here it's very slippery so it's not like a very rough textured bag like the symmetry not the symmetry plus but the regular symmetry but uh however for me i think it's okay it works fine right so on the left side that's where we'll get our cutout for the mute switch as well as volume up and down you can see right here marked plus and minus eugene branding on the bottom on the bottom itself you get a very nice cutout for your microphone your lightning port as well as your speaker very nice uh cutouts in fact more than adequate right on the right side you can see the power button not sure what these two lines are for but it definitely works very well in my testing all right guys so here we are taking a look at the protection side of things so this is what you saw at the back of the box so you can see right here honeycomb pattern it's actually textured right here so they are supposed to be like two materials so this is soft flexible but this is a slightly harder tpu so in fact the honeycomb pattern is used even in the rhino shield so rhino shield products also use very similar design shock absorption but of course this is on the back but that is on the sides so you can see right here military standard hit and g corners nothing special basically your standard case but of course the way it's designed is meant to really really absorb the shock especially on the back or on the sides but uh fun face was drop never tried it definitely there is enough adequate lip which i'll be showing you later on you can see slits right here as well for the button so it remains very very tactile all right so get my phone installed slide in button side first very simple installation let me get everything aligned all right so as simple as that very very simple case to install so for me the design and uh, fit and finish is very similar to the auto box symmetry of course the symmetry is slightly harder to fit on all right so taking a look at the back you can see a very nice and generous cutout for the triple lens setup you see right here open armor gear the same thing of course they do make it in other colors as well but i have the black one because i do like the black but of course i do find this orange portion kind of an eyesore 
I wish it was grey, I would accept grey as well but not orange, I feel it stands out too much especially when you're looking at it on the front because that's where you're going to be looking at the phone the most of the time. So I wish they didn't pick this uh, very bright orange colour. Alright so button tactility, very tactile. No problems right there. I do love the tactility of the buttons. Okay, let's take a look at the cutouts at the bottom. Spot on cutouts. As you expect from a brand like UAG. Alright, on the left side, you can see your very, very big cutout for the mute and ring toggle. So no problems right there as compared to the official Apple ladder cases or silicone cases. Slightly smaller cutout, but this, you will not have any trouble flipping the switch right there. So you can see on the front, Let's take a look at the lip. Okay, let me give you a closer look. So right here you can see the lip. Adequate lip. I have a tempered glass screen protector, a 5X uh, Autobox Alpha glass. So it's slightly thicker, but still there's a generous lip in fact. And I think I'm not going to be worried if I do drop it face first. Definitely not going to be damaging the screen anytime soon. Right, so you can see the, the fit and finish. Uh, I wish this was a little more rigid. This is a little bit too loose for my liking and it doesn't really fit that well. Let's take a look at the sides. Uh, sides, yeah, here right here where the buttons are really loose. But on the bottom side of things, it's getting uh, slightly tougher. This part right here is also a bit loose. So your things you do have to consider like that. So definitely not a perfect case. But on first impressions, I think this case is a case I would recommend. But out of 10, I would give it like a score of like 7.5 to 8. It doesn't really make it to my, whoa, this case is awesome list. But um, this case just works on the daily if you're a casual user, you just like a simple case, you just want to have a case that basically protects your device. Yes, not the cheapest case, but it gives you very, very good protection. In fact, everything Apple Pro actually did drop this from more than 11 feet, if I'm not mistaken. and this case actually survived so that's the reason why i was drawn to actually check out what's so special about this case but in my testing this case feels just like the autobox symmetry very ordinary uh hybrid style case but of course i do like the design on the back is very very minimalistic very simple it does make it look slightly different from all the other cases on the market so that's what i do like about it okay one more thing before i forget let's take a look at camera protection so you can see right here the cameras are well protected of course this is for the 12 pro the 12 Pro Max camera is slightly raised, so I guess that will be slightly closer to the edge of the case. So definitely get a lens protector if you're going to use with any case, except for waterproof cases. But if you're using any any regular cases, definitely get lens protectors. I do have a lens protector right here. It's very discreet. You do not really see it, but uh, it's there to protect the lens. So I do not want to go breaking my lens or scratching it because there will be a very, very hefty price tag to actually get this replaced. Definitely this works with MagSafe, but not 100%. It's like maybe around the ballpark of like 70%. You do have to find the right spot because you know the thickness of the case. I do not have my MagSafe charger right here with me, but trust me when I say it works with MagSafe because I actually did try to charge it overnight. Never had any issues with that. So MagSafe works, but you're not going to be really getting the function of the magnets because it's of the thickness of the case. If you do want MagSafe, definitely you can choose a brand like from Nomad or you can get the official Apple cases because that would definitely work better. So if you just want a tough case, you don't care about MagSafe, you plug in your phone all the time, you can go and get one of these. So I'll leave the link in the description below for Malaysian buyers and also for buyers outside of Malaysia. So you know where to get it, get the authentic product of course because you know UAG products, many counterfeits out there, even I am afraid to buy UAG products and especially autobox products as well. So that's the reason why I always leave the links in the description so you can make sure that what you get is authentic. All right, so that concludes my video. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.